The papal election from September 22, 1280 to February 22, 1281 elected Simon de Bryan, who took the name Pope Martin IV, as the successor to Pope Nicholas III. The protracted election is unique due to the violent removal of two cardinals, Matteo Orsini and Giordano Orsini, by the magistrates of Viterbo on the charges that they were impeding the election. Only a decade earlier, the magistrates of Viterbo had intervened in the papal election, 1268-1271 by removing the roof tiles of the Palazzo dei Papi di Viterbo to speed up another deadlocked contest. The expulsion of the Orsini and the subsequent election of Simon was due to the influence of Charles I of Naples, who was present at Viterbo for the election. Context The previous meeting of the cardinals, the papal election, 1277, had dragged on for six months as the six cardinal electors were evenly divided between the Roman and Angevin factions. The age of Giovanni Gattano Orsini was elected Pope Nicholas III, to the dissatisfaction of Charles I of Naples, whom the three French cardinals supported. Previously, Pope Clement IV had crowned Charles I, the King of Naples and Sicily, but had failed to sufficiently stack the College of Cardinals with like-minded cardinals. Following Clement's death, the papal election 1268 to 1271 was the longest in the history of the Roman Catholic Church, eventually electing outsider Teobald of Visconti as Pope Gregory X, who concerned his papacy with little more than the advocacy of the Crusades. Although Gregory X had issued a papal bull ubi periculum, mandating the stricture of the papal conclave to accelerate disputed papal elections, the bull was not in force at the time of this election, having been suspended by Pope Adrian V and revoked by Pope John XXI. Cardinal Elections Absentee Cardinal Proceedings from the start of the conclave, the anti-Angevin faction mostly created cardinals by Nicholas III, who controlled many key positions in the college and included three Orsini cardinals, had consolidated themselves as an unbreakable voting bloc. The breakthrough in the deadlock came when Charles I replaced Orso Orsini, the podesta of Viterbo, with Riccardello Annibaldi who proceeded to burst into the election and arrest and remove the Orsini cardinals, allowing the pro-Angevin faction and the Aldebrandeschi partisans to push through the election of Simon de Bryan, the favoured candidate of Charles, as Pope Martin IV. Giordano, the leader of the anti-French faction, and his nephew Matteo, were imprisoned. Actions that ensured that the new French pope would find no welcome in returning to Rome. In fact, Martin IV never set foot in Rome during his papacy of 49 months. Aftermath The imprisonment of the cardinals caused an interdict to be placed on the city of Viterbo. As a result of the interdict, and of the hostility of the city of Rome to a pontiff favourable to the Angevins, Martin IV moved the Roman Curia to Orvieto, where he was crowned on March 23, 1281. Among the first acts of Martin IV were to remove from prominent positions the Orsini cardinal nephews of his predecessor, Nicholas III, and to replace them with French and pro-French candidates. Martin IV remained dependent on Charles throughout his papacy, soon after his coronation. On 29 April he named Charles a Roman senator and assisted in his attempts to restore the Latin Empire, including through the excommunication of Byzantine Emperor Michael VIII Paleologos. The latter act resulted in the undoing of the fragile union of East and West brokered at the Council of Lyons in 1274. Martin IV's a supporter Charles continued after the Sicilian Vespers, when Martin IV excommunicated Peter III of Aragon, recently elected by the Sicilians as king, and further declared null his kingship in Aragon and ordered a crusade against him, which resulted in the ensuing War of the Sicilian Vespers. The first seven cardinals appointed by Martin IV were French, but the fact that Martin IV's death coincided with that of Charles I inevitably began to weaken the French influence.